Ladies and gentlemen, it is go time. My name is Todd Grisham. Next to me, of course, is Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Nice to be here with you. And now it's time for the tale of the tape. It's King Rye, Ryan Garcia. He's five foot ten inches tall. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from Victorville, California, here is the exciting boxing sensation. Introducing King Rai, Ryan Garcia. Fighting out of the blue corner from Flushing, Queens, New York, here is the former amateur great and world title holder Introducing the WBC featherweight champion of the world, known as the Flushing Flash, Kevin Kelly. Under the bright lights here for this one, really. These two fighters promised us an offensive show. Let's see if they deliver. Good left counter to land. And this is that jab. Beautiful counter shot. Big shots from both of these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Why aren't they defending? One of the hottest tickets around. It's standing room only for this, our main event. God, listen to them. Listen to them. You can, you can hear the noise, but you don't know what they're saying. It's that loud. I'm sorry, man. I'm shouting you here. I'm sorry. There's a counter shot. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now, this fight will say, you know what? I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. Left counter punch the score. Not many of the people in the division hit like them. Nice counter shot. Back and forth they go. Why aren't they keeping their gloves up? Hand there. Nice exchange here. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Good counter punching from both these fighters. That was almost a 10 8 round. Well, we've just taken a big breath, and here we go again. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. You'll find to the counter puncher who's got a dummy shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punchers, they're watching you, watching you every move, every drill. Fails to score with that left hook. This is not good strategy. Those punches are doing nothing. The Spider told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. The sluggers, you cannot let them get into a rhythm because this is how they train. This is how they prepare for fight. This is what they'll do all night. Do not dance their dance. You've got to use speed. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Good 
the halfway point of this round, and both of these fighters have had their moments. Still could go either way. He misses with that jab. Punch scores. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no... On to the third. Now there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Shot land. A lot of fans know how quick these lighter fighters can be, but tonight, don't be surprised if these don't pack a lot of power as well. Oh my goodness, what pace, what pace. They're like, do you know what a Yorkshire Terrier is, Tom? That, they're like little Yorkshire Terriers. with that jab. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dared do anything out of turn. Nice counter shot. That left scores. I'd like to see someone use a jab here to establish a boxing presence, but no, they just want to fight. Neither fighter willing to slow down. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. No secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. Dominance. Here we go to the fourth round. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. The counter left. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be. Having second thoughts in the world. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? Hand again. He misses with that jab. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's got a match made in heaven. Back and forth they go in this round. The momentum continues to shift. no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. He just misses with that big right hand. And 
cheap. Looks like this fighter did not work on defense this training camp. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. three minutes we just saw it as long as they don't get complacent you think this is too easy if they keep this same kind of pace up on to the fifth we go well there's no doubt about who won that last round let's see what he has for us here in the next one oh that punch is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart even though they were the one pushing the tempo? I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. On the right. Hands with the right counter. Hey, those punches add up. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He just misses with that jab. Ooh, Kevin Kelly took a shot. the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down. And Kevin Kelly is dazed. Great counter right hand there. As we enter the final 10 seconds here, it's probably a round he'd rather forget. Counter punching. factor that knockdown is going to be we just saw you've been put down you've got to think right survive and then give it back the next round let's start the six let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round that knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown i'd be very very surprised if he'll come out Fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's got a hustle, man. He's got a he's got a bluff in there. So that left lands. Nice offensive display landing that left counter. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. Todd, we know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Beautiful counterpunch. Nice counterpunch. He threw the hook, didn't land. Two are the perfect dance partners. Left punch. Nice job landing that left counter punch. That one will count. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. 
Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those point areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skin and go for speed. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as a fighter. And a tournament's got to... Here we go. It's round seven. Last round, complete domination. Let's see what we have in store for us here. Charge, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Last round, complete domination. Let's see what we have in store for us here. Insane action! Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. When you have a fight that's got that great footwork and that great hand speed, it's so hard, it's an uphill batter. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Missed him with that uppercut. Big right hand just misses. Fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per round. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again and the fight will be over. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? I seriously hope the judges... Round eight, and we're off again. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Caution is being thrown to the wind. That left counter was perfectly timed. Right now the flash is seeing flashes after that shot. Didn't wait long to get back and get engaged. Good counterpunching for both these athletes. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they help them to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in a fight. They've got to relax. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. They have no respect for each other's punching power. Good counter punch. and shoot with the left counter. Good job. You don't want to trade shots. Good one. It's obvious the spider is gassed out. Why sit in there and throw punches? This 
round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. All three judges here are going to give that round to you know who. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. And there's the bell to start round nine. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get there, they want you to stand there, toe to toe with them, and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their thoughts back. Get out of the way! And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. No stamina, no injury, but still throwing punches. <laughs> Perfect counter lands. Ooh, Kevin Kelly took a sharp shot there. I don't believe what we're seeing here. Left counter score. Thought that was the end, but here we go again. Back into the fire. And Kevin Kelly is dazed. It's now or never. The clock is ticking. This is his big chance. Looks like they're out of trouble. Kelly couldn't take any more. Back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. Final 10 seconds here, and I think he knows who's won this round. That'll be a 10-8 round for sure with the knockdown. I love the response, though. Got back up. Took a deep breath and got right. Brush it up. Get on with the job. It's round 10. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now, they're saying, when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him, throw him, push him down, punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go. Because you know, the one shake your leg. They went, and that's it. Away from getting stopped. Nice punch. No rest for the weary. Punch, counter punch. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. Todd, you know what? Sometimes when they're going to ring with fights like that and you punch them, you just want to win. You want that space. Oh no, Kevin Kelly. It's a rip. Kelly couldn't take any more. Two. 
are back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. And Kevin Kelly is dazed. Play here is incredible. Nice punch. It looks like he's going to survive the round here, but just barely. Knocked out yet to make or break a fighter. Let's start 11. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. Todd, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full bow because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. Perfect counter shot. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? You've got to be courageous when you're getting in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain there. Good right hand. No power, no punches. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Nice counter. They exchange punches. That punch lands. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. This can be so frustrating. I remember such a fast fighter, fast fighter that can throw three full shot combinations before you've even let one off. That creates frustration and that's when it gets hard. The old adage is no matter how much speed you've got, Timing beats speed. Just when you think they're going to have a lull in the... Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. You can't leave it up to the judges, it's up to you as the fighter, and the cornerman's got to put a firecracker on that fighter. Get out there and get the job done. On to the 12th. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. I've seen some fight. Oh, finally, couldn't take it anymore. And down goes Garcia. the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down. That's another scoring shot. Trying to answer back. Perfect game plan. The thing is, can anybody figure out what to do to change this? It's a perfect start.
There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. He can't afford to make one single minor mistake. Power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Big left there, but misses. Punch landed. The perfect counter lands. So final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. Another win, another unanimous decision victory. This is the last thing we expected. What a fight, what a style, what a pace to get a unanimous decision. That is mad. This, I didn't see that coming. I thought this would be tight. This is nowhere near tight.